How did doorstop diaries make you feel? Okay, it now it made me feel that uh, you belong to a little community, and um, because of the isolation from COVID and all of that stuff, it felt good. Um, it felt encouraging, especially with all of my little insecurities and stuff like that. Um, and it didn't matter what skill level you were at; everybody just did what they could do. It just felt felt natural. It felt good. Yeah, just to be a part of it. Yeah. So good. Wonderful. Um, what was something you took away from Doorstop Diaries that you were excited to that you're excited to use going forward? Um, a lot of the techniques actually. Um I use a lot, a lot of the um the Zen tangles and the free drawing, um, the automatic drawing. And um also, it's called part of it's also a neurographic sort of drawing. So I've always incorporated that into my work. So it was it was nice to see more of it and remind myself of some of those processes. So um, it was just nice to it, to be able to include that again in a lot of. Sometimes you need to be reminded of things that you've learned over the years and um, bring it back to the forefront, kind of thing. So. Yeah, and we've I've done collages before, but that was like in high school days and that kind of thing. So starting, um, the, that was a nice start to the program, just cutting up because you also, um, later on, you're able to add it to other things to get effects. So it was, it was really nice, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I, I still, still be using them. Amazing. That's so great. Do you feel as if you could help others like friends and family or neighbors do some of the same techniques that you've learned like uh, collage or comics or, or even using zoom? Do you feel confident in anything that you've learned over the past seven months? The zoom, <laughs> because I would, I would, as of door, doorstop diaries, um, I've actually taken on a few zoom calls and normally I say, uh uh, not gonna happen. Uh, you get to be on screen, uh uh, not gonna happen. So I'd say no to them. So, um, in fact, I did the other workshop um, with, his, with Hanan, and we started yesterday, and that's another Zoom thing. So, yes, uh, the Zoom part of it, fantastic, yes. And as for showing other people, yes, um, my mom. When I was there, I was showing her what I was doing and she's definitely not tech savvy. So um, being able to say, hey, you can actually do this as well was nice. And um, my 10 year old, sorry, she's 11 now. She heard me say 10, she would be mad because she's all grown up now that she's 11. When I was in Fort Mac during the Christmas, I was showing her some of the things that we learned and she was just, yeah, over the moon about it. So she's playing around with that stuff a bit. So a lot of it, yeah, I, I think I could show other people and I feel benefit. Well, they have um, benefited from what I've learned. So it's nice. Yeah, okay. Um, were there any obstacles that you faced but ultimately overcame? Yeah, the Zoom calls, being <laughs> face, and like right now, uh, no, uh, just the, the idea of it, you know, face when you're, when you're in public and someone approaches you, you can chat or you can just walk away kind of thing. Um, but here you're, you're mm, okay. So if I had the choice, I would not do it. No, totally. So it's, it's been a challenge, but you know, get out of your comfort zone sometimes is good. So. How has Doorstop Diaries affected your feelings of connection or your feelings of isolation? Yeah, so having the prompts encouraged encouraged me to look forward to the next one and to the challenge of what the prompt was all about. Um, so finding out, knowing that it's coming was coming to an end and that kind of thing, it was it was sad. You, you kind of get sad because you, you feel that um, after what's well, been more than six months, we've been doing this 
We've been having meetings, um, even though once to twice a month with the um, workshops, even though we weren't physically together, it still brought us together in a different way. And we were uh, creating things and showing each other and sharing. So I look forward to seeing what everybody else, their process was all about. So I'm going to miss that. And that I found that encouraging and, you know, everybody at different levels and you can share experience what they're going through, talk to them and all of that. So, oh uh, yeah, it, it made me feel good. It made me feel excited. It made me feel encouraged, but now sad that it's all come to an end. <laughs> and lastly, why is public art important? Um, for me, um, it's a way of telling a story, learning about what other people have um, gone through, what they're doing. Um, takes away some of the ugly in the world. Yeah. Um, to see some of the stuff, especially um, when you're driving around town and things like that, I've, I've always loved to see the, um, the graffiti artists and their work. I'm not talking about the, the awful graffiti that people do. I'm talking about when the artist goes out there and puts out a lovely piece of work and that kind of thing. And um, it's encouraging. It's encouraging. It's, uh, yeah, it's something to look forward to. And, you know, especially when you're driving in areas that look kind of look grungy, especially construction zones. And they've been using, what I like about them doing the public art on like the construction um, blocks and stuff like that. You don't see the ugly, um, what do you call uh, boards, uh, the wood uh, planks. You see the, the art. I, I hope they, they take them afterwards and put somewhere to use again. But yeah, it, it's just nice. And different, different forms of public art I, I love like how we did the, the doorstop diaries and stuff like that. Um, it's all, everybody came together and it was nice seeing what everybody else could do and contribute, no matter how small, no matter how simple, no matter how grand, yeah, so it was nice. 